I was thinking about networks and, uh, and connections that we make, that uh, uh, connections of justice. I belong to many uh, over the years of my ministry, and uh, then I became the Bishop of Quebec <laughs> and found that uh, we were not exactly at the, s the center of networks and, uh, and engaging, if you will, in some of the issues that are so pressing and so important that we've spoken about here. And I thought I would just share a very small little example of, of beginning to connect, because sometimes it's not easy. Uh, when I became bishop, I was given um, a gift of a house in the heart of old Quebec. The house was called Bishop Thorpe, because it's historical and all the rest of it. But what was interesting about this house is that it was falling down. Um, the electrical wiring wasn't working, the plumbing wasn't working, the plaster was falling, problems with the roof, problems with the foundation. Um, <laughs> it sort of, sort of reminded me of the institutional church, actually. <laughs> I won't go there right now, but, uh, but I sort of thought, well, what were we going to do with this? Uh, you know, uh, it looked like a white elephant. I mean, it just it wasn't something that we could use. And I thought, well, we will sell it. Well, then we were told we couldn't sell it because it's a historical cultural monument and because it wasn't zoned so that we could sell it. So we thought, well, what do we do with it? And we began to develop a, a sense of a new vocation for it. And we, luckily, being in the province of Quebec where the government actually will give money to religious monuments and culturally important buildings, with the Quebec government and on our own resources, we were able to raise around uh, a little over half a million dollars. And we began to work on Bishop Thorpe. And since that time, Bishop Thorpe has become a, um, an open community center in the core of Quebec City. What we have done is uh, we've, we've got several different parts of that. There's a greening ministry that has uh, put in uh, raised beds, and we have now people from the community who are not Anglicans, but they live in the local community, and they come and they plant things, and they've received the benefits of that, and uh, we're planning on putting in more gardens and more trees. It's one of the few places in the old city that still is totally green, and uh, we've sort of messed it up by putting parking lot, if you can believe it, in the middle of everything. But that is going to be phased out, which is a, a good thing. On top of that, we have two guests in our uh, garden. Uh, one is a, um, a donkey called Aldo, and the other is a, a goat called Ali. Now, Aldo and Ali have a wonderful ministry. <laughs> They receive hundreds of people, and I say hundreds of people, every day. They come from all kinds of places. They even come from far away. They bring carrots and apples and what have you. And it's been a marvelous thing because it has brought people into the cathedral close, and people who don't talk to each other normally have begun to. The assistant deputy minister of finance talks to a street person. And the street person says, why don't you take a picture of me? I've never had a picture with a donkey before. <laughs> and, and here's the assistant deputy minister of finance of Quebec taking this person's picture. It's amazing, really. Um, on top of that, it's been a source. Bishop Thorpe has become a place for education. We've had guests from around the world come give lectures. Last year, we had over 1,000 people come into the, the It's our home, too, by the way. I just The third floor. Uh, is given over. There are six bedrooms. Uh, people, because we have regional health care in this part of Quebec, we have people that come from the Gaspé Peninsula, from the lower North Shore. They have cancer treatments. They come for operations. They can stay with us on the third floor, and there's a little kitchenette, and we, we, we support people that way. We don't take any money for that, although some people give us money, and we put it into the ministry. Um, the question is, you know, where is God in all of this? I have to say, at the beginning, <laughs> I had no idea what we were going to do, where we were going to go, how things were going to go, and I felt really down about the whole thing. And now it is a source of great wonderment to me and a great deal of satisfaction that there in the middle of Quebec, a community is growing, and it is only happening because the Spirit made it happen. <laughs>